I said short people unite. Okay. Uh, hi, my name is Rachel, and I'm from the Galactic Federation of Belty Poets. Also, I'm a senior. Inside the uterus, 250 million sperm race to enter the egg. Only one will succeed. 250 million variables. Generations and generations have come before, and she has arrived. Nine months of growth, and a mother meets her child. She is a museum. She is the result of an infinite chain of events cascaded down through history. In time, her ancestors led down to her great-grandmother, to her grandmother, to her own mother, all down to a moment. When the little girl looks down at her hand to make her first discovery, a simple beauty mark. Today, she tells me it was the first thing she noticed about herself before she even knew what mirrors were. Like a, a gleaming red arrow, it said, you are here. In a, in a map with no roads or signs, but she's a star in a galaxy of seven billion. Over time, every choice she's made has shaped her into an astounding mathematical solution. What are the odds that we'd even meet? And her voice is the result of every word she's spoken, every song she's sung, every joyful squeal, and every moment of laughter. But even after all of that, shaped like how molecules of water carve the Grand Canyon, shaped like every great rise of a mountain, sometimes she still looks in the mirror with sadness. Little does she know, she is the creation of infinite possibilities in a universe so vast, we can never hope to understand it. Yes, she is small in comparison, but she exists. Yes, you are a grain of sand in the wind, but you exist, and that is astounding. Infinite chemical reactions have occurred. Atoms have bonded, collided, folded upon themselves, and despite all odds against it, you are here, created by uncountable variables. Twists, turns, chances, probability. Do not tell me that you are anything less than magnificent, because we are all anomalies, living and breathing, just waiting to realize that we are all individual universes. <laughs>